But first, we have breaking news. A verdict is in for the Christmas Eve murder case of a six-year-old Cahokia boy. The jury returned just moments ago. Fox News' Rocky Madden outside the courthouse with more on the killing that stunned the entire St. Louis community. Rocky. Yeah, the jury, Elliot, only deliberated about an hour and a half, returned the verdict at 4.30. 39-year-old Lee Crutchfield found guilty of first-degree murder. Authorities say he beat to death six-year-old Ryan Smith. This happened six years ago this coming Christmas Eve. Now, Fox 2's George Sells, you were in the courtroom, and then you saw Crutchfield afterwards. What was his reaction to this verdict? In court, very little emotion, very little anything out of Crutchfield. All the emotion, all the reaction really came from family members of that young victim in the courtroom. Outside, Crutchfield field was uh, brought out. He was put into the elevator. I asked him if he had anything he wanted to say, and he just stared blankly at me. There was no emotion there whatsoever. It was just a blank stare, almost as though he didn't hear me, but I said it twice. He clearly did hear me, but he just a, a blank stare, Rocky. And finally, you, talk, you talked to Ryan's grandmother. Now, she, in effect, lost her grandson, her daughter, who's going to prison for this also, and her other grandchild, who's been taken away. So, What was her reaction? She's overjoyed, actually, is what she said, which was interesting. She said she was glad that there was justice for that little boy, because that's all there was to her was justice for Ryan. She says the other things she can't control, and she's going to have to live with all that, but she said seeing the justice for him is what she wanted. All right, George Sells in the courtroom. He's got the video in his hands. We're going to have sound bites for you later in this newscast, or at least at 6. Let me give you some background on what happened here today. Ryan was the son of Crutchfield's girlfriend. The sounds of crying and sobbing could be heard in the fourth floor courtroom as attorneys for the state and the defense delivered closing arguments. Authorities say the little boy had been locked in a closet as punishment that Ryan urinated inside it that Crutchfield became angry and pummeled Ryan. Bruises covered his little body. In a taped confession, Crutchfield admitted to striking the boy a couple times on the head and chest. Ryan was three feet nine inches tall. He only weighed 34 pounds. The defense insists that Ryan may have had epilepsy and some of his injuries may have resulted from a seizure, but the state's attorney said that the evidence proved it was murder. Ryan's mother, Star Lohman, witnessed what happened to her son. She was also charged with first-degree murder. She testified against Crutchfield after she cut a deal with the state and will plead guilty to a lesser charge and spend 15 to 30 years in prison. Now, Crutchfield's family came out. They had nothing to say. Jurors, I talked to them, said, do you want to say anything? Either they ignored me and said no comment. Now, pictures of the boy's battered body were repeatedly shown in the closing arguments to the jury. I got a quick glimpse, and I can tell you they were extremely disturbing, to say the least. Reporting live here in Belleville, Rocky Madden, Fox 2 News.